Hi. Hello. How are, How are you? you? <laughs> nice to see you again. I know. I know. It, it would have been nice to see each other in person, but you know. The last Instagram live is a second best. So. Yes, this is how I've seen anybody I've seen in the last like what two and a half months. You know, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> It'll be nice when people aren't like literally this big, <laughs> right? Or you're like, like, are you wearing pants? Are you not wearing? Yeah. Right, you know, like see your full body. So, uh -huh. yeah. Well, congratulations on the release of this book. So thank exciting! You. Oh, thank Can you. Yeah, we're so excited. It came out yesterday, um, and it's just been really fun. We've We've been doing school readings over the past few days and, you know, live events like this on Facebook, on Instagram. We had a launch party virtually on Zoom yesterday, which was so fun for us, hopefully also for the participants. But our illustrator came on and she did a whole drawing demo of how she created the characters. And it's just been, it was wonderful to see how she worked. Yeah. Can, can you share the, can you share that? Are you going to make it public like that zoom link or anything? Yeah, she has it recorded. So we're trying to figure out how to best um, yeah. send it around, but yeah, we'll try to put something in. If neat. not, we'll definitely try to share her illustration. Yeah. That would be so neat. Yeah. Yeah. So what was it like doing the follow-up to, uh, to Nelly? Was it fun focusing on Poppy? Um, hi, it, Allison. <laughs> it was cause you know, in a way, I mean, you know, for Nellie Takes New York, it was our home, our, you know, once upon a time, my home, I'm in Boston now, but um, it was, that was just magical, right? Coming home and sharing such an important place to us. And then with Poppy, we, we got to kind of get the travel bug going. And, you know, especially at a time right now where you can't travel, um, it, it's really special to be able to share, you know, a part of the world that many might not be able to see or haven't been to or have seen once before, but can't go to now. And it holds a special place in their heart. And so, you know, it's been really special to see how, you know, children, adults, every, all readers of all ages have been reacting to um, the illustrations, the words, and, you know, especially at a time like this. So but yeah. it's been great. I think yeah. people are desperate for an escape of any kind um, and literature, especially for books. I mean, kids might not come up to you and be like, what a bummer that I'm not in Paris today. <laughs> like, I mean, if I don't know those kids. Some might. Kids like that. Some, some right? might. Some might. Okay. Luckily, not my kids. Who yeah. haven't, they haven't been to Paris, so they don't know what they're missing. But um, but they could say they could exhibit signs that they're feeling anxious or that they're bored or they're you know having a meltdown about electronics and like what better way to transition them away than to have a book where they escape with you right and you go as like a family trip to with poppy and <laughs> you know yeah. you look for baguette and all the all the other little awesome things that you guys hide in there and um so exactly, exactly. i mean from the comforts of your own home you can go on this adventure and i you know i love reading I love reading children's books and everything to my son he's 16 months and he's a you know I think we spent an hour yesterday just him bringing me books and everything you know and that's how children learn about the world um especially a place like Paris if you can't visit that's it's how they make sense of the things around them make, they make connections between their real life and what they see on the page and so it's just so important to, you know, be able to read to children and provide new experiences for them that way. So where, where is this series going? What else do we have? To, where are we traveling to next? Ah, oh, where aren't we traveling to? Um, well, Alice and I are hoping to do obviously many more books and we'd love, we've, we wrote uh, one about Washington, DC. Um, and that I used to live in Washington, DC up until September. And so we just thought, you know, bringing it back home to the United States before we go abroad again. Um, and, you know, helping people learn more about where they live, because that's not many, you know, many people don't know enough about the capital or how things are run and things like that. And so, um, and I, it's a beautiful city. So I think it'd be really nice to share um, with everybody. So, but we're also taking suggestions. So if, there's a, you know, a city around the world that you think we'd love to cover. We'd love to cover them all. Um, I think you should head out to LA. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. might be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, 
yesterday we had a really interesting one. One uh, little girl who was on um, our launch party mentioned Houston and the NASA launch. I was like, that, you know, mm. so interesting, you know, something again going on in our part of the world um, that, you know, many might not be privy to, so. How do you and Allison work together to write these books? It's fun. So what we really, we always try to see each other in person to sit down and write, because I think that's important to be able to communicate. And we literally will sit down and write with one computer, word for word. So we'll take turns typing. Um, you know, we might type and then see, what do you think about this paragraph? Um, but we really do work together. And it's fun because we share that common love of travel and experiencing the world. Uh, so we wrote, we wrote Poppy seven years ago in her living room in Chicago when I was visiting for a weekend and which was fun. We literally, we sat down and we're like, this is great. We're, you know, jiving and laughing and really getting into the place, but the characters as well. And so that's fun. And then um, obviously, of course, we don't live in the same place anymore, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, we go back lots of phone calls and everything or when we try to see each other in person as much as possible we try to do some writing but it's yes unfortunately we don't we're not roommates anymore <laughs> so nice though that you can collaborate on a project like that with somebody who you care about in your private life like yeah how great to just have the excuse like i feel like if i had an excuse to like get on the phone and collaborate with one of my best friends it would i feel like it's so easy to not take the time i don't know how you feel about this but to let other things like get in the way of like chatting with a friend or doing, yeah. you know, but to, to, to make it into work is very, it's, it's smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been special for us and we feel very lucky to be able to, you know, of course our friendship would continue with these books or not, but it's a continued shared experience that I think is, you know, really nice. You know, we went to high school together. We went to college together. We lived outside New York. And then as you get older, things happen. Kids come along, you know, and so it's it's harder and harder to keep in touch as, you know, life, right? But this is nice because this is shared between the two of us. Um, and so it's been special and a way for us to travel together. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. Would you mind holding up the book again? Just I would to get love another. It. Oh, yeah. Cover okay. my own face and just show the book. <laughs> no, stop. Yeah. I mean, the illustrations, if, you know, if you haven't, if you see on my Instagram or on Allison Pataki's Instagram, just, I mean, gorgeous. gorgeous. She just, the Christy Valiant, the illustrator, is just remarkable. And she's created these wonderful, silly, whimsical illustrations, um, you know, where the characters are just, so silly. I mean, you know, Baguette is just lounging and enjoying the Parisian sun, you know, and why not? If, all, if, all, if we could all be Baguette. Yes. So. If I could be a dog on my back on a chair in Paris right now. <laughs> Being fed baguettes, croissants and macaroons. I mean, it's the life. Good. <laughs> well, congratulations on your second you. book together <laughs> and um, on the wherever the series is going to take you guys. I'm so excited to come along on all the adventures and drag my kids with me who enjoy yeah. it very much. So, um, so yeah, congratulations. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. This was fun. My pleasure. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.